Ask Reddit by Hunkalo Shianasanad. Americans, how do you feel about Puerto Rico possibly becoming the 51st state? I'm Puerto Rican and I can tell you that support for statehood and the commonwealth is almost evenly split. Practically nobody supports independence. Edit, and the assholes from our Puerto Rico are brigading this thread. I'm curious, what benefits do you get being a territory that you would lose by becoming a full state? Edit, guys. I asked what benefits they would lose, not what they would get with statehood. You can stop replying with the pro-statehood arguments. I have no strong feelings one way or the other. Tell my wife I said, hello. All I ask is that we find two other states to add as well. Make it 53. Truly a nation indivisible. Oh, that's just prime. As far as I can tell PR citizens are still split inside their nation about joining the union. I kinda feel like they should be on the same page first. That said, I would support them if it was a question of my support. Anyone born in Puerto Rico after 1952 is an American citizen. They are already technically in the union but due to slightly more complicated reasons do not have equal representation in Congress. They aren't a protectorate and are technically classified as a territory of the US. It's a very strange situation to me. What's next, New Mexico becoming the 52nd state? I'll be deep in the cold ground before I recognize Missouri as a state. We should stick with 50 states. And since Puerto Rico has more people than several states, we should make it a state and combine the two Lakotas into one state. I used to think the US should just be 50 states cause it was even and nice, but recently I've realized, who cares 51 or 50, who gives a f? Doesn't bother me either way, but I have noticed on the issue of this and DC statehood, a person's position on it always coincides with whether or not their preferred political party would gain or lose. So I have a really hard time feeling like anybody who doesn't live there isn't being disingenuous when they argue for or against it. Like, I know full well you're counting senate seats in your head. To be fair, that's always been th case when statehood has come up. Nothing new. That would be fine, it's not up to me, it's up to the people of PR, the people living there. I hear many living there saying they don't want independence, but many here on the mainland want independence which I find hilarious considering they are reaping all the benefits of living here. Deleted. We will have to make a new flag, unless a state merges with another. I vote for the creation of Dakota, population 1,642,312. Slightly more than the population of San Diego, CA. So do you think we should call San Dakota? They are already a part of the United States. If they want full membership, to become a state within the union, to that I say, welcome aboard. Yep. Whatever Puerto Ricans want is cool with me. I support it. If Puerto Rico wants it, then as Captain P. Carr would say, make it so. That's the thing, they are basically split 50 stroke 50 lol. Some think it'd help, some think it'd make things worse, and others just don't wanna be considered American. Old Town San Juan is so gorgeous. You should be so lucky. There is nothing else like it in the US. And the rainforest is not far from there. Another national treasure. I literally do not care at all. It's none of my business. I am H.O. Ask the Puerto Rican people how they feel about it. If they want to be a state, they're welcome to. If not, that's fine too. Honestly, I kinda think it's about time. Puerto Rico has sent its sons to fight for this country for years. They should be part of the union. Let Puerto Rico decide. I'm into it. I love Puerto Rico and having them be a state would be awesome. I'm all for it. How do Puerto Ricans feel about it? 
I'm not against it as long as the Puerto Ricans are all for it. Overdue. Fine with it. Bring it. It's long overdue. It's overdue.